Hey everyone, we are live here today. We are live on uh, Facebook and we are live on Instagram. We are live here today from Hearty as John Foster in Rietfontein, uh, the Muet. And today we're going to talk about leadership uh, on the live session. Every Tuesday at 3, uh, we are live and ask your questions and get your questions ready throughout the week for the Tuesday live session. So today we're talking about leadership and what you can imply in your life in terms of leadership. But first, just a quick announcement. Um, I'm speaking tomorrow night, which is Wednesday night from 6 uh, at KW Red Door. It's Keller Williams Red Door uh, in Pretoria. So check it out if you want to hear me speak. I'm going to tell my story on how I became a millionaire at the age of 22. And I'm going to share some interesting life and um, financial tips and tools that you can use in your life. Uh, cool guys, but today we are here with Johandre Potgieter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to talk about leadership. Uh, Johandre is the head boy here at Hartjes John Forster. And he is going to share some tips on leadership with us. So if you have any questions, uh, send them in and we will talk about it live on the Tuesday live session. So Johandre, what do you have to share with us today? So there are four words that um, during this term of my head boy and leadership, um, that really meant a lot to me and those four words are compassion, composure, curiosity and consistency. So basically uh, compassion uh, is important as a leader because you need to be compassionate towards the people that are above you in the leadership sense. Um, if you're not compassionate with other people and you're, you're cold and you're unfeeling then one day when you need their help or you need their input then they will maybe hesitate to help you. Mm. Um, so being compassionate towards other people was this year and um, for me as head boy very important in my life. And then composure is the, is the other word um, which goes with, comp uh, with uh, compassion because if you have a, a bad day or you're not feeling well or something is wrong or you're under pressure, um, it's not always good to show that you are under, under the pressure because people um, look at you and then at the way you look they can feel your your confidence and they they can feel they, they trust you just with the way you look and the way you look so confident um, so that's composure so so true people need to look up to you and you need to stay calm in the situation even though everything around you is falling to pieces exactly they need to look to someone to have that trust uh, Michael, thank you so much for joining us live today. Michael, do you have any questions on leadership? Let us know. We're here today with you, Andre, uh, from Hartjes John Foster. You can see the guys practicing rugby in the background here um, on the field. We are here at Hartjes John Foster today. And your Andre is sharing some tips on leadership uh, that we can apply in our daily lives. So, your Andre, you were saying about uh, composure. Uh, so yes, basically keeping a good composure and never really showing the times when you feel weak. Um, and then also being compassionate towards other people mm. so that when you do feel weak, you can keep your composure. But those people that you trust and those people that trust you, you can get energy from them and you can get motivation from them. Yes. Um, and then the third word, curiosity. Um, being a good leader also requir requires from you to be curious and creative in the way that you run your meetings, the way you run your events, and also being curious to find out new ways to run things. So for an example, um, uh, the youth ball um, that we do in uh, the Junior City Council, um, and all the events that we, do, that we do in the Junior City Council, each year we have to improve a little bit more. And if you're not curious and you don't want to go out and find new ways and new um, new aspects to improve your events and your, your ways of doing things on, then you're just going to, going to have the same Yes. the same ways Stagnant. each and every time and yeah. then over time things will get boring and people will get demotivated so keeping keeping everybody curious and keeping mm. everybody you know on the tip of their toes is always good in, the, in a leadership position and then the last one is consistency and this is very important because if you are someone in a leadership position and one day you're at the top of your game and the next day you don't have a clue what's going on the day after it, it's this it's an entire mess um, consistency is important because you have to keep your composure every day, you have to be creative every day, you have to be smart every day, you have to keep people on your toes every day. You can never have a bad day and then show it to everybody. So consistency is very important 
um, for you to stay healthy in your, in your leadership position and also to keep other people around you trusting you and to believe in you as a leader. Yes, I love it. I love it. Consistency. And that is similar in any area of your life. If you can stay consistent. Um, last week I talked about success actually being easy. And if you can stay consistent in what you do, uh, then you can be successful in everything. So consistency is so true. I truly um, uh, agree with that. Uh, cool, guys. So this is this week's live session um, on the on the uh, Tuesday live session every Tuesday at 3 and we take questions and answer them live so we can talk to everyone in the community about these things that you can implement in your life. So, Yuandre, in terms of um, being a leader in your everyday life, these four topics that we've went through now, uh, how would you say do you implement them in a, in a physical, practical way that other people can actually implement on a daily basis? Um, okay, this is actually a, sim a very silly example, but uh, all of us have a morning routine. So you stand up, you brush your teeth, you can make coffee, you get dressed, and then you go to school, or well, to work, or which way ever. So uh, the curiosity um, elements of this whole uh, four-word thing, um, keeping yourself curious is one of the, uh, the important parts of that aspect, because uh, not only do you have to keep the people around you curious, but you also have to keep yourself curious curious so um, one morning uh, I stand up and then I'll maybe go for a jog mm -hmm. um, to you know to keep the blood flowing and the brain fresh I and like everything. it and then you know just doing that once or twice a week maybe to surprise yourself and to keep your own body curious you know you have to keep your mind guessing all the time so mix it up guys yeah, Every, mix it up. don't don't get into you know a boring type of routine mix it up keep yourself curious and also uh, for me and all my friends studying um, obviously you have to find a good way to study, you know, you have to learn how your own brain works and how you can take in information the best, but you have to experiment with all these different types of learning and if you're not yes. curious, you're never going to be able to experiment with all the different types um, of taking information. So um, that's a physical way to implement curiosity and then compassion obviously I think is the most physical one because you have to show compassion to people by, you know, being friendly and yes. being um, open-hearted to everybody. Um, composure um, obviously is something that you need to do every day you have to decide when I wake up today I'm going to be composed I'm going to be calm I'm going to be elegant and smooth get um, yourself into that state yes. in your mind first okay um, and then what, what's the last one uh, compassion composer curiosity and then consistency um, consistency is something that you have to learn and to practice and to be good at over time um, the better you know the aspect of the work that you're doing, for instance, the better you know rugby, the more consistent your game will be. The better you are at maths, the more consistent your marks will be. So obviously, the better you are at your leadership qualities, the more consistent you will be as a leader. So going on like leadership camps and taking part in any leadership aspect that when something's going on in, in your school, um, that is a physical way of exercising your leadership qualities um, and yeah that's a physical way to implement those forms. I love it I love it guys um, so consistency is key uh, curiosity composure and compassion so guys if you want to get into leadership and you want to up your leadership skills uh, take a look at these four aspects and implement them in your daily life and make sure you get you get them right so you can improve your leadership skills so guys, that is all from us today on the live session here every Tuesday live. So tune in next week and get your questions ready for next week. Uh, thank you, Andre, for joining me today. Uh, we are busy here with a course at Hartje John Forster where we talk about six zeros to a million. And when we work on the minds of the, of the young uh, legends of tomorrow to enable them to become financially uh, you know, in independence in the future. So we're doing the course here at John Forster and um, you Andre was here with us today to talk a bit about leadership. So thank you for joining us. Thank Johan. you very much for the opportunity. Awesome. I'm sure you're setting a massive example for the people <laughs> around you here and I'm sure you're showing them compassion. You're showing, showing them that you're consistent and you're showing them that you're curious. Um, Michael, thanks for joining in. Stefan, thanks for joining in. Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we're almost signing off. You have to ask them now. Uh, with today, we are talking about...
about leadership with you, Andre, here from John Forster. So for everyone that uh, still needs something to do this week, tomorrow night I'm speaking at Keller Williams Real Estate and I'm going to tell my life story and share some tips and techniques. Otherwise, uh, you, Andre, have a great week and uh, then much. we'll see you again next week, Tuesday. So implement those leadership techniques. Awesome, guys. Have a great Tuesday and then we'll see you next week.